Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Traveler's Notebook setup video and I am going to be using the May Planner Society kit and you can see some of the goodies right here. I do go through it a little bit more in depth in a recent haul video so I'll leave that linked below. And the Foxy Fix that I'm going to be setting up or rather the Traveler's Notebook I'm going to be setting up is a Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook. It is a size number three which is the A6 size so it's somewhere it's a little bit fatter and taller than a pocket so I was really excited to try this size out. Um, and so I got it in the Boss Babe Moonlit color and I had a gold foil heart on the spine and I believe light pink stitching. So anyway, I am just going ahead and getting started the way I normally do with these, which is to cut down my papers for my dashboards. And I did decide to use, just fold over the papers basically and use those as dashboards as opposed to using the plastic vinyl dashboards. I do have some of those and I will bring in one to this video, but I kind of, I did this last month in my personal size with the April, Planner Society kit, which I will link that below. Um, and I just honestly, I find the papers to be durable enough that they're not, they don't really get, you know, you know, beat up or anything. And I just think it looks a little bit nicer. Like I like the texture of the paper better than I like the texture of the plastic vinyl. So anyways, I went ahead and cut all of those down, did some of them off camera just to speed this up a bit. And now I'm just cutting them or sorry, folding them over to be the right size. And just FYI, my method for cutting is super haphazard. I just keep it. I basically, you know, measure it against an insert and just kind of approximate it. And especially for dashboards, I don't mind if they're a little bit wider than my inserts. Um, so I just kind of guesstimate a bit and try to make them all the same size. And if the, you know, if the cuts are straight, so much the better. But I have a very kind of lax approach to my uh, traveler's notebook. I don't feel the need to make them super perfect. So now, as you can see, we're moving on to the decoration point. And I am using a glue. It's a Scotch Create Tacky Glue. And it goes on white, but it dries clear. It was my first time using it. And I will say it's very good as a strong adhesive for like your heavier things. Like that is a shaker dashboard that came with the kit. But it is definitely wet. So I basically like assembled all these dashboards and then had to like wait for like a couple hours to let everything dry and then move on. So that is like one thing. I kind of discovered that later that it makes the papers wrinkle just a little bit. If like, so I didn't use it with anything that I was using a thinner paper, um, like, you know, cardstock or things like that were okay with the glue. But if it was like at one point I use a bag and the bags that the, the Planner Society kits come in are a little bit thinner. So for that, I used a tape runner instead. So anyway, you saw me set up that first dashboard with the shaker little thing that came with the kit. Now I want to bring in one of these girl post-it notes. I just thought that would be really cute. Um, and I just really, that was like one of my favorite things in the kit, the cute little like retro girl. Um, so I'm taking one of those post-it notes and here you can see I am using that like glue runner as opposed to using the, cause I knew it would start to wrinkle that paper. Cause it's, it's kind of almost like an Elmer's glue. Like, you know, think about your construction projects when you're a child. So anyway, um, use that tape runner there to center the girl and then I was trying to figure out what else to incorporate with this dashboard and my approach to these is very again just kind of haphazard just what I think looks nice um you know I play around with it as you can see play around with different stuff until I get one that I think looks cute I try to keep it a little bit different so like if I have one dashboard that's green with a girl on it I'll probably try to do the other girl on like a floral one or something like that so here I'm taking that little um planner society girl um what do they call those the cutouts um I took I cut out the society part because I'm not really, I don't consider myself a planner society girl, but I am a planner girl. So I just cut off the society there and I thought that looked really cute. And that little saying, I forget exactly what it said, but it was something cute and planner girl related too. So I thought that was like a nice combo. And then on to this next one, I kind of wanted this one. Um, I wanted to use, this is actually the back of that post-it. My post-its actually came detached. So I decided to use the cardstock that um, it was attached to. So I was just testing out which go went best there and I decided to use it on another dashboard so I'll come back to that but here I decided to make this one my pocket dashboard so I was going to do that pocket little card that came with the kit itself on the front and that's like a smaller pocket you could put business cards in there or like if you have gift cards or anything like that it's a little bit more secure pocket and then I decided especially since I didn't love the interior of this paper um I had a planner friend that told me it looked like spiders and I can't unsee it uh so I wanted to cover it up 
up a little bit by making it a pocket. So my method for pockets, um, I decided this time, last month I had done a vertical pocket, but I saw in an, uh, Helen Coffee Monsters Co. video that if you do a horizontal pocket, it actually fits stickers a little bit better. And I knew I wanted to have some stickers in this pocket, so... I went ahead and did the vertical pockets that way and it actually um I'm recording this voiceover after I've already been using that traveler's notebook this or this setup for like a week and it's working really really well so um the, and the glue's been holding up great which is kind of what I was worried about but uh it works really well so I'm just gonna do a, a quick test here to make sure the pocket's gonna be big enough for the stickers which are emojis coincidentally um and they are so now I'm just going ahead and running the glue around the outside and here again because I wanted a more secure fit I did use the full wet glue and then I you saw me use just a piece of cardboard to run underneath the pocket basically just to make sure it's completely lifted in the center there and um, that I'd be able to get something in there later once it dries so set that off to the side to dry and I'll come back to decorate the front later and here is that girl cardstock that I was talking about so it's really just like the back of the post-its so I just kind of pulled the post-its off and now I'm just using the cardstock that it came on and I just cut off the top that said the like planner society so it had that really cute border so I just thought that was actually perfect um, to use it just like that uh, that is the nice part of planner society like all the packaging and stuff is so so pretty and creative that you can always you'll see me later I cut out something else from the packaging to use as well um, and so now just again playing this time I'm bringing in some of those puffy stickers because I thought those were cute and gave a little bit of dimension and I knew I'd never use those in a spread because the puffy would be like a little too much on a spread but on a dashboard it's perfect so here I am going to, this is what I was referring to. This was like the backing to, oh, I forget what piece. Oh, maybe to like the note cards. And so now I'm just cutting out this little saying that was on the background of that that says um, life's, I think it says life's a beach or something. Um, and so I just thought that was a cute saying and I didn't have a die cut that had, that's that word, die cut, um, that had that, uh, Oh, it says let's plan at the beach so I didn't have anything else that said that so I just thought oh well, that's cute and now I'm going to take a bag so I just wanted to get like a little bit creative incorporating some of the different prints and she had such pretty prints on the bag that I wanted to go ahead and use those so I'm cutting down a small square here and just putting that kind of offset in the middle um, it just I didn't want to cover up too much of that beautiful pink floral but I just wanted to have a little bit of interest since that was a smaller quote piece and I'm trying out a doily that I have had that came with like another sticker order but I decided not to use the doily for this one because I just really wanted that pink floral to shine so here is where I'm going to go ahead and use that glue runner again like I said it just is a little bit better for these thinner pieces of paper I just think those glue runners are kind of pricey you can use them up really fast so that's why I prefer the wet glue if I can but like I said kind of a pain so anyway just arranging that there and then of course I'm going to add some extra deco because I don't know when to stop um Oh, that one I just showed was kind of cute, but I didn't use it. Uh, so yeah, just testing out some different pieces. You guys will have to let me know for future videos, like, do you want me to, you know, kind of skip over this part? Or do you like seeing the process for how I assemble these? I know, you know, doing six different dashboards can get like a little much, but I do try to take a different approach with, with each of them. So anyway, now we are back to the pocket and I can go ahead and glue that other pocket onto the front. I wanted to get my layout down first before I glued anything down. So um, just testing out the different die cuts and stickers. Um, and I just thought that was cute. So yeah, so this was like an all pocket uh, insert, which I just thought was a kind of a fun idea. And that little pocket on the front. And then I'm just going to glue the other stuff around it. And just moving that around, it ended up having to hang off a little bit. So I cut off a little bit of that paper and the glue at this point, I don't know if you can tell, I have like a tissue. The glue is just getting everywhere. Like by the time I was done with this, my hands were covered and my desk was covered in glue, but that's okay. So for the final dashboard, like I said, I didn't love that blue print that was like kind of it was supposed to be palm trees, but I thought it looked kind of like spiders. Um, but I knew I wanted to bring in some blue. And she had this gorgeous bag that was like a blue flamingo print. And I loved the soft like flamingo colors. I just thought that was so pretty. So I decided to make that into a dashboard. But I had to use something else on the back of it because that one on the inside of the bag is just white, of course. So here I decided to use more of that pink floral one I loved. Um, I knew I wasn't really going to reuse the leftovers of this kit. So I just decided to go all in. If I loved it, I was going 
going to use it. So um, I am cutting those down kind of to size. And so here, because that dashboard bag I knew wouldn't really be... Um, what am I trying to say? Like it wouldn't like wrap well because it is a paper bag. That's where I decided to bring in those vinyl dashboards that I was talking about. So those you can actually buy directly from Foxy Fix. Um, I do have a referral link below, just FYI, that if you sign up using it, you get an email with 10% off for your first order, but feel free to not use it and just order. But anyways, their vinyl dashboards are pretty affordable. Um, you can sometimes catch them on a good sale, which is when I got mine. Um, and they basically, they're just like, they wrap around your inserts and you can um, stick stuff into them. So they have ones that are both what they're called secretarial pockets, which are like diagonal. And then they have some that are like vertical pockets. The ones I was using here were, or not vertical, horizontal pockets so you kind of shove them in horizontally um, so anyway so that lets you have two separate pieces of cardstock it's like a good way to use up leftovers too so if you don't have like one big piece of cardstock that could wrap around your inserts or if you just have like smaller things like just a few pictures you just want to put in and you don't want to you know, tape it to a big piece of paper. That's what the vinyl dashboards are good for. So I like having them on hand, but like I said, I don't really want to have them be all six of my dashboards because they're just a little, I don't know, they just don't feel as nice as like the good paper does. So anyway, going ahead and arranging this front cover for that vinyl dashboard, I am making the blue side face out, of course, because that was the one I wanted to use um, and just trying out some different die cuts in the puffy stickers and all of that. So um, just filling in some space. I just really loved this print and I knew I wanted to use that. Sometimes I do feel like the best prints are on the bags and the Planner Society stuff. So going ahead and laying that down and there you can see I have already uh, taken the liberty of letting everything dry for a bit. So now I could kind of get to looking back at my uh, stuff and I decided that one looked a little bare and I had some extra die cut. So I decided to bring one in over there too. I just kind of wanted to fill in some stuff once it was dry. I kind of saw that I wanted to add a little bit more. And here you can see I'm going to go ahead and shove those ones we were just working on into the dashboard. And so they just slide in right like that. Turns out it was like a little too long. Um, oh, first I'm going to cover up that blemish from the sticker uh, with, the, with a little flamingo one. And so, yeah, so that was the uh, dashboard. Now my camera kind of, I accidentally crashed it, but it was fine. You didn't miss much. All you missed was that I was cutting down the vellum and acetate sheets that came with the kit, which are like, they're like transparent pieces. And the way people typically use those in Traveler's Notebook is that they actually wrap around your dashboards. There's like literally no purpose to them. Like dashboards ostensibly like protect your inserts. There is no purpose to the vellum and acetate other than looking pretty. And I love the way it looks. So I decided that I wanted to use it and it came with the kit so um, just added that as well so I also had some leftover acetate once I was done um, cutting it down to the wraparound size and so I decided to use some of the leftover acetate for bookmarks so first up I am taking a little hello today die cut and I thought that would be so cute to stick out the top of my planner and um, be uh, a marker for the today section because it says hello today so I decided to use that one for that and then I'm going to make some others, but first, um, this is just true order of operations uh, and how my thought process was working here. I decided to get everything set up to kind of see how this goes. Like when I'm playing with a Planner Society kit, and I really do can kind of consider it playing, um, you know, just happens to be the cameras rolling, I just kind of like go where my heart takes me. Um, and the way I'm trying to separate these inserts out is I'm trying to do like a... Um, just separate the out the colors of the dashboards and also make sure that the inside of a dashboard is not the same as like the previous one because like when you're flipping through it just doesn't look as interesting if you have like two of the same in a row. So um, I'm also using the jump band. Foxy Fix has a great um, video on that in their Facebook group. If you don't know how to use a jump band, go ahead and um, look at that up. But it basically lets you, even though you only have four elastics, it lets you get six inserts in there. And now you can see I am adding the vellum and acetate and I am just folding that. The acetate's kind of hard to fold because it's a very stiff plastic paper. But um, once you get a crease in there, the crease holds pretty well. And 
I'm just including these on various inserts. I didn't put them around the vinyl one because I thought that would be like a little plastic overkill, but just kind of putting them um, around. And I just and I didn't put them on a front one because I wanted the front to kind of be plain so you could see the design really well. So I just had four. Um, so that worked out. And then I have my Hello Today. And next I wanted to go ahead and decorate the front pocket. So I cut down a piece of paper there to fit and um, am just going to go ahead and put that in once it's cut down. Last month I had done like a cute thing with like a design centered and then I stuck it behind the pocket and I was like Holly you're a gigantic idiot it was going to be covered by the pocket so here I just put a cute piece of paper and like stuck one flamingo out once it was already in the pocket so that I knew you'd be able to see it and I didn't do much more decoration than that and I knew I wanted to have one of those little girls in the front since I didn't have a girl centered on the opposite dashboard I had the shaker dashboard there um, but I also had gotten these little page flags at Target which were in the dollar spot of course and they were like palm leaf themed and the colors went pretty pretty well and the vibe definitely went well so I decided just to cut those down to see how they would look um, and I noticed that when I left that front cardboard flap on it was like stretching the pocket a little so I instead just cut it off and just slid it in there with one of those little girl die cuts behind it and I thought that looked very cute and next I am going to go ahead and make those other dividers that I talked about. So I am going to get out these little, what are these called? The little basically make your own kind of divider tabs. And she has these, I think pretty much every month to be honest. Um, and they're just these little transparent labels and you can take them off and stick them on the divider tab there. And so I am just doing ones for my monthly. I already had one for my hello today, like you saw the bookmark. So I grabbed my monthly, a notes section and my meal planning section or not really meal plan but that's what the bookmark says um, it just is like my meal tracking so those are the sections I flip to most often so I'm just cutting down the acetate to, I forgot that I had the other piece of acetate so I just did the flamingo one for all three and all I'm doing is taking the glue runner there and going to run it on the back of those and just stick it to the acetate and it's a super simple little way to bookmark you know it's not like the most you know it doesn't stick up necessarily the best but you can see there that it works pretty well and now I'm just going ahead and and getting everything kind of in order sticking my stickers in there um, in those pockets as you can see they worked really really well and like I said they've been holding up great which is super exciting um, and I am just going ahead and getting everything arranged with my paper clips. I have several paper clips that I'm, you're going to use. Pretty much all the gold ones are from Green and Lime, which is a website. I will leave her linked below. Um, and oh no, first before the paper clips, I need to deal with the back. I knew I wanted to have something cute just in that back pocket since I don't really use it functionally. Um, so I am just taking this girl. Sometimes I put stickers in the big pocket, but I rarely use the front pocket. So I just use that for decoration. And now I am continuing with the paper clips there. And that is a little peach palm um, clip. And she's an Etsy shop. Again, I will leave that linked below. And just kind of checking out how everything is lining up here and where I can put stuff in so just this is kind of like my process and going through I did decorate the monthly a little bit just with some washi to block stuff out and then I knew I would kind of go through after the fact and actually fill stuff in and again another green and lime paper clip oh no and this one's from K and Co XOXO that big pink one and then I'm sticking the pen in completely for aesthetics when I'm actually carrying this planner around I'm going to have a much more functional pen but it looked really cute for the video um, and I just don't like the way those pens write but uh, and I have a preferred pen but um, and then on the front I'm sticking the clip from the planner society and on the side I'm sticking a peach palm little clip and then I remembered there was one more thing that came with the kit that I wanted to use which was this big girl clip here so I'm just trying to find a way to fit her in since it's pretty big um, but I just put her on my daily pages and that is pretty much it for this so I am going to go ahead and slow a little bit down so you guys can see a little bit better there's that adorable peach palm charm I love the way that looks on the spine so delicate and there's a little bit of a better look of that gold foil on the spine as well and then going into my flip through, as you can see, we set up the front, um, have a little bit of function there, but mostly just decorative. And then going through, we have my daily inserts and my bookmark, and then some dashboards, that's how the vellum looks. And then my monthly, oh no, first my week on four pages, and then my vellum, acetate, 
and the little pocket insert and this is where I put my notes section and you can see the pocket works great my little two little bees stickers are all set same with my emojis and then the acetate more acetate <laughs> um, and the dashboards and here's where my monthly is very cute if I do say so myself, I guess. Um, I was trying to use those uh, little clips to hold everything down, but that wasn't really working that well. And then just more acetate, more dashboards, more vellum, all the good stuff, the meals insert. And then finally, I just had like a plain um, grid one in the back that was just kind of for whatever. So that is pretty much it for this flip through. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these and go ahead and subscribe to see more TN videos. So thanks for watching guys, bye.